Hey guys, this is Steli FD with Close Hour. Let's talk today about the difference between can I have coffee with you and can I pick you up from the airport and drive you to your hotel? All right, here's a story I want to share with you. A few months back, I was traveling through Europe on a speaker tour and I arrived in Austria to speak at a very large conference. And I was getting, a few weeks prior to that conference, I was getting all these emails all these messages on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Twitter, people reaching out to me saying, hey, Steli, I heard that you're gonna be in Austria, I heard that you're speaking at this conference, this is amazing, can I buy you coffee? I just want half an hour of your time to pick your brain for, and now insert whatever their need was to raise money, to build a company, to increase our sales, to become an authority in my space, whatever, else, whatever it was that they were interested in. They were reaching out to me to invite me for coffee or lunch or dinner or drinks and use that time to pick my brain. All right, so number one, I love it. I want to connect with people, right? And I appreciate that people think that I have something of value to offer and that they're reaching out to me. I appreciate that they're excited. I'm grateful for that. And I want to meet with as many people as I can. I want to help as many people as I possibly can. So I want to say yes to all of them. But there's only so much time in a day. And even when I, even considering that I'm Greek, there's only so much coffee I can have in one single day, right? So especially when I go to a conference to speak there, there is a lot of preparation going into speaking there. There's going to be a, a speaker's dinner, some networking events. There might be some customers and clients I need to visit, some old friends I want to spend some time with. There's a a pretty lot of shit going on and I'm busy. Now, if I get 40 or 50 requests to meet for coffee, I'm going to feel overwhelmed. I'm not going to be able to say yes to most of them. So here's what I said to him. He was my reply to most of these people that wanted to spend some time with me was, hey, I totally appreciate you reaching out, but my schedule is busy. It's hard for me to tell how much time I'm going to have. Just when you're at that conference and you spot me, just grab me and say hi, and let's try to figure it out on the go. And most people responded with, cool, I'll totally do that. And I assumed that they were hopeful, but I didn't connect with most of these people, right? Here's what one smart person did that was different. And he used a tactic that you can steal, and you should. If you wanna meet with somebody, uh, at a conference, speak with a, a, a speaker at a conference or in any other setting. It's just a mindset of how to reach out to really to people that are in high demand and get their attention, get their time. So he reaches out to me and instead of just saying, hey, Stella, I'm so excited that you're speaking at this conference. What he does is he says, hey, Stella, I'm excited that you're speaking at this conference. I'm a big fan. So up to this point, he says what many other people had said. But now he made a crucial difference in his pitch and he differentiated himself. He said, Steli, I know this city like my left pocket. I know all the places, I know all the restaurants, all the bars, I know, you know everything about this city. Let me be your personal assistant. Let me be at your service. Hey, you're arriving at the airport. Do you need a drive from the airport to the hotel? Do you need a drive from the hotel back to the airport? Do you need your clothes to be dry cleaned? Do you need any medicine? Do you need any, you know, anything that you can think of? I will make it happen for you. Just use me as a resource and I'll make it happen for you. Just let me know what you need. Let's start with me picking you up from the airport. Now that pitch was a very compelling, you know, it's fun and compelling, but it's also so smart because now it's not about him using up my time. I have to be at a conference and then leave that conference and go to some coffee shop, sit down, spend half an hour with him. And then, you know, if it goes a little longer, what can you do? And then it's 40 minutes and I have to go back and I just lost that whole hour to then an hour later do the same with somebody else. He didn't ask for my time. He put himself in front of me and said, utilize me as a resource. Let me create value for you, Steli. Let me drive you from the hotel to the airport. You have to drive there anyway. If you take a cab or if you drive with me, what's the difference? The difference is that, isn't it gonna be more fun driving with somebody who's a fan and who's an entrepreneur and who's gonna have some smart questions and we're gonna be able to have a smart conversation? That's exactly what we did. I agreed to that. He picked me up from the airport and he had 30 minutes with me and I enjoyed it. It was much more fun than a normal cab ride. He questioned me about you know, his business, his ideas, and we had a really powerful and, and, and productive conversation. 
and he throws me out at the hotel and says, you know what, tomorrow I'm going to be at that conference. I'm going to be the first row when you speak. I'm going to be your biggest fan. And you know what I did? I put him in my presentation. My presentation was all about the hustle nation, people that are putting in the hustle, the work that makes shit happen. And I thought that he was a great example of it and a local example that could be an example for the rest of the audience. So my very first slide was telling the story of how he picked me up, how he drove me to the hotel. We almost got into a car accident. They almost ran out of gas because they didn't have enough gas in the car. It was a fun story. Everybody enjoyed it. And he was up there, you know, on the big stage on my screen, on my slides. And I highlighted him as a local hero. And afterwards, you know, we, we hugged it out and, and we came a little closer. And what happened a few days after that was he asked me, hey, do you need a, a ride back? And he asked me if there's anything else we can do. And we met occasionally here and there during that time and became more and more fond of each other. And then a week after that conference, he sent me an email and he made another very compelling pitch of him working for me or working for my company to learn, to be mentored. And we've started establishing a relationship all by him having a different mindset of not just asking for my time, but offering something of value. And I want you to do the same. There's a big difference between can I have coffee with you or can I invite you for coffee versus can I drive you to the hotel? Next time you want to reach out to somebody of authority, somebody that has a lot of demand to their time on them, you know, and that has very little time to offer, Think about what is something I could do for them? What is something where I could create value for them to start building a relationship? And if you want to speak to a speaker at a conference, that's a tough group of people, right? Because they're on stage then when they're off stage, everybody at that conference wants to speak and connect with him. So how can you differentiate yourself and stand out? Well, why don't you just steal that tactic? Why don't you offer that person if he or she's a speaker and not local, which is most of the time, the opportunity to pick them up from the hotel, from the airport, drive them to the hotel. It's such a beautiful value proposition. It gives you such an intimate setting to speak, to connect, to get to know each other. And there's no, no other people standing around with their business cards w waiting to interrupt you with your question and interact with that speaker. No, you have them all by yourself. And it's also a great time for them. They're getting, you know, driven, driven to the hotel by a local, by somebody that's probably a lot more fun than the typical driver and somebody they're going to be able to be useful and valuable to during that ride. So this is a win-win for everybody, but the mindset is something you can translate into any other area in your life. And I want you to encourage you to do that. All right. I hope this was useful. Make sure you go to blog.close.io and subscribe to our blog. Make sure to, you know, reach out to me, Steli, S-T-E-L-I at close.io and offer me something of value or even just ask me a question. And I'll answer if I can. If you invite me to coffee, make it a good invitation. Um, and yeah, just tweet at me, at Stella, and let me know any, any hack you can think of, any past story where you were able to break through the noise and reach somebody and build a connection with someone that was in high demand, was an authority, was somebody that was able to mentor you or help you in any way, and share the story of how you were able to build that connection with all of us. All right, I hope you're having an amazing day. Go out there and crush it.